All right, so the next test I want to discuss is called an IgG food allergy and candida blood spot test. Okay, so now this is our first blood test we're talking about. And blood spot is actually really easy. This is the kit that it comes in. Boop, boop, boop. It's a little kit. And so a blood spot test is, I don't know if any of you have done this, but basically it's got a little thing in it and you just bloop, prick the end of your finger and you put five drops of blood on this little thing and let it dry and you send it to the laboratory. So you don't have to go get your blood drawn to do this test. Isn't that cool? So um, the IgG food allergy test with Candida is a blood spot test. Anybody can do it anywhere. And I have a little brochure on it. It talks about what IgG is, and it's an antibody that will show up when there's proteins circulating in the blood that you're reacting to from eating certain foods. So this is kind of your quote unquote food allergy test. And there are various food allergy tests, but this one's gonna check all your main ones, your dairy and all your grains and different sugars and um, even vegetables and legumes, and it's, it's gonna cover a wide range of food allergies, but it also checks candida. And if you have candida in your blood, that's not good, because you're not supposed to have candida in your blood. And that's a foreign invader, and that means your immune system is working overtime in your blood trying to fight candida. And if you've ever done a live blood cell analysis, it's really cool, because you can see how cool your immune system is. You can put a spot of blood and you can see a candida organism and then you can see a white blood cell come up and attack it and surround it and engulf it and eat it up and kill it. The immune system is pretty, cr pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. God's a pretty amazing designer. So that was a side note. But anyway, IgG food allergy and candida test. It's a simple blood test. It's good to find out that, uh, you know, should I be eating eggs or not or whatever? I mean, it's interesting what shows up. I mean, I had a gal who did this test and um, I think it, I can't remember exactly. I know it was pineapple and then there was another, I think it was pineapple and avocado. It was like basic things that you would eat. And she was like off the charts on pineapple and avocado. And she's like, yeah, you know, I don't feel good when I eat pineapple, you know, and, but, but who, who would, who would have thunk it, you know? So, um, some people show up really high in dairy. That's a common one that I just don't encourage anyone to eat at all is dairy uh, for any reason. Uh, but grains, the wheat, the gluten, the gliadin, um, it checks a lot of those common allergens. Peanuts, super common allergen. So it checks a lot of different nut, nut allergies, which are super common. So if you just want to find out, like, do I have food allergies or am I reacting to certain foods or are there certain foods I should stay away from, this would be the test to do that. So what, how that helps the human body or the person who's doing it is if I'm having, these are high, that means my immune system's going crazy trying to fight these things in my body because they shouldn't be there. And if you take those things out of your diet, you just took a huge stress and burden off of your body and off your immune system. So you're gonna feel better and you're gonna have more energy and you're gonna have more clarity and your body's not gonna be dragged down all the time by trying to fight even something normally that would be good for us, like, you know, whatever, pineapple. <laughs> so it's good to know. That's, so that's IgG blood spot.